If you really want your students to wrap their mind around the concept of how falling objects behave, and you aren't one of those science teachers still clinging to the insistence of obtaining the absolute precision of 9.81 meters per second squared in the lab, then the G-Ball is exactly what you're looking for. The G-Ball has an embedded stopwatch with a touch sensor incorporated within the device to stop the timer when dropped on a surface. A button on the G-Ball begins the stopwatch upon its release and will stop when the ball reaches the surface, measuring a time of fall that is well within reasonable limits. The G-Ball can be used in countless classroom demonstrations to illustrate all of the concepts of free-falling bodies that you need to emphasize to your students. By dropping the G-Ball, measuring the time to fall, and using the appropriate kinematics equation, students could easily calculate the height of your classroom. If students can calculate approximately 10 meters per second squared with the G-Ball, they will begin to formulate what is fundamentally important about the value associated with G and its inherent meaning. The simplistic beauty of the G-Ball is that it can be used anywhere, indoors or outdoors, without the need for computers, expensive data collectors, or complicated devices. One of the all-time favorite experiments with the G-Ball is to show students that the value for G is the same from any dropped height. 3 meters, 2 meters, 1 meter, or 50 centimeters results in 10 meters per second squared every time. Finally, a cool way to confirm and solidify the concept of gravitational acceleration in students' minds. The acceleration is always the same. 